Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because my package finally came in. <laughs> it was just a day late. I was supposed to have it yesterday and then something happened and it didn't come until today, but that's okay. I am so excited about this and I am putting it all on my face. What am I talking about? Pat McGrath, the Divine Blush Collection. I grabbed all of the blushes so that I could put them on my face. I have the highlight, I have the lipstick, bombs, the gloss, I've got it all, I've got it all. And I am going to be, uh, yeah, washing my face several times today. Oh, and the eye quad, can't forget the quad. Before I get into the demos, I'm gonna give you guys the information, swatches, and pricing. So let's just jump straight in. When it comes to the blushes, there's nine. Yes, nine. There's one for everyone. <laughs> and yes, I did put all of these on my face for you guys. Look at this packaging, it's so pretty. They come in two different finishes, demi matte and then also a pearl, both of which are absolutely gorgeous and they retail for $38. Let me show you outside of the box. This is the one that I'm currently wearing. It looks kind of like a mini quad and then you open it it has a little clasp right here you do get a mirror on the inside and then it has this beautiful beautiful embossing and how many grams do you get 9.7 grams in here so you're not going to go through it too quickly for the shades we have flirtatious which is described as a soft beige pink and it's a demi matte nude venus peachy pink with golden pearl desert orchid bronze rose with golden pearl Nymphette, soft pink with golden pearl. Divine Rose, a cool mauve rose that is a demi matte finish. Cherish, described as a neutral pink demi matte. Love Struck, berry pink, also a demi matte. Electric Bloom, I love that name. <laughs> a vivid coral demi matte. And then Paradise Venus, a terracotta demi matte. Then we have the limited edition palette. Yes, you heard that right, it's limited edition and I really, 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 really wish it wasn't because this is one of my favorites. There's four different shades in here. Moonlight Liaison, which is described as a gleaming gold champagne. Rose Fire Nectar, Coral Rose Duochrome Sparkle, After Dusk, a mahogany brown matte, and then Twilight Bronze, a platinum bronze shimmer. This retails for $58, and I, I could be wrong, because I haven't heard it anywhere, and I was looking through the description on Pat's website as well as on <laughs> Sephora, but I think this is a new formula. It feels different. It does, it really feels different to me. It applied differently, so maybe it's in my head, but I feel like that is a new formula. Either way, a gorgeous. The Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter in Golden Nectar. This beauty retails for $48. It's infused with botanical oils. It has a high intensity glow and micro perfecting finish. And then of course you guys know I picked up all of the lip products from this launch. So I'm gonna show you guys the swatches while I talk about them. Dream Lover is a matte trance lipstick and it's described as a warm peachy nude. Then we have the two Lip Fetish Divine Lip Shines. Divine Rose 2 described as a soft plum rose and also Flesh 7, but I don't see a description for that shade. And then the Lust Gloss in Earth Angel. This has a beautiful spark it's pink gold coral it's amazing now that you guys have seen the swatches I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demo I'm doing eight of the blushes first then I'll get into this eye look then I will put on this blush the highlight and the lipstick then we'll get into my thoughts all right let's do it
I'm starting off with the Wayne Goss number 18 in the shade After Dusk. Per the usual, I do not have my eye set, and um, the shade is extremely pigmented. <laughs> if you want this to be a little softer, I would suggest going in and going ahead and setting the entire eye, and it'll be just a little bit softer, and it will be a little bit easier to blend. But I want to show you how easily this blends out on its own. So I'm going to take it on this outer half of the lid and then start working upward, but doing so slowly. As less and less product is on my brush, I will start going upward more and more. And you can see it doesn't get patchy. It is just, oh, this is why I love Pat McGrath's mattes because they're so pigmented, so creamy, and they ha oh, I just I absolutely love them. And but they blend out with no issues. But I can see where if you're not comfortable with a dark shade like this, it can be a little intimidating to blend it out. So if you don't want to have to take your time with this shade, I would just make sure to set the entire eye. However, when you go in with the glitter, which essentially that is uh, what the shade is that's on top of my lid on the other one where I finished, it won't adhere as well. But you could always go in with glitter glue or something else like that. And make sure I get this on the outer corner. Next up, I'm going in with Twilight Bronze on a MAC 242. This shade is so pretty. I'm just putting it all over my lid. It's really just going to act as a base layer to the next shade. With my finger, I'm going to go in with Rose Fire Nectar. I'm popping that right on top of the shade I just laid down. Initially, I had used a brush and it got everywhere. I mean everywhere. So I would definitely suggest either using glitter glue, some type of adhesive, or your finger. Because <laughs> it's not coming off all over my face as much like it did with the first application. I'm going to go back in with the shade After Dusk on a Refer 14. And now I'm adding back in that depth. So initially I blended it out and now I'm going back in to add it how I want it to be. Nice and blended around the edges and then deeper in the crease and on the outer corner. I'm taking that same shade on a Wayne Goss number 7. Applying it all along the lower lash line. MAC 242 and the first shade, Moonlight Liaison. I'm going to highlight the brow arch because I can't help myself. <laughs> and then I'm also going to apply a little bit of that on the inner corner. And then I'm going to go add on inner rim liner and mascara. I have one more blush to try on, Desert Orchid. This one spoke to me. It was like the one out of the entire collection that I was like gravitated towards. So I knew that I wanted to use it last, but I'm gonna put my highlighter on first because <laughs> I'm finding that this is pretty intense and I kinda wanna see what will happen if I just go in with a lighter brush as well. This is a Sigma brush, yeah. Yeah, Sigma fan brush. I'm just going to lightly apply this and then go in with my blush and I can intensify this a little bit more if I feel like I want to. Yeah, I think this is, I like this effect better. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful blush, but highlight, but it does accentuate. And I mean, all highlights do to an extent, 
but this one's pretty beaming. This is definitely old Mel. I would have been all over this. Actually, let me put this on my nose. This definitely would have been one that I would have used all the time because of its intensity. And I really like the color. So if you are a big fan of really intense highlights, I think that you will like this one. All right, now let's go in with the blush. Wayne Goss number two. I'm not picking up much blush every time I do this because I like I dip in there and there's so much pigment. There is so much pigment. Yes, I definitely like this better on top, like layering it over the highlight. And then I can go in and mattify the areas that I want to mattify on my face. And I have found that this brush has worked well with all the shades because you can build up if you needed to, but then it really is a workhorse to blend out like those really darker, brighter colors to make them softer. All right, I'm gonna add a little tiny, 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 tiny little bit. I'm trying to figure out which brush do I wanna use. I'm gonna go back in with the Linda Hauberg 306. A little bit of the blush. <laughs> the highlight. I've just got blush on my mind. I'm just gonna pinpoint it right there. And now I am going to smooth the center of my face by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Pressed, the new Wayne Goss number three. And I'm just gonna take that right over the edge of the blush and the highlight. This is the finished look. I did go ahead and line my lips with Kitten Liner and then I added on the lipstick. This is the Matte Trance in Dream Lover. I'm gonna swatch this on my hand even though you guys have seen them at the beginning and you see it on my lips now, but I just wanna show you guys. And then I was wearing the gloss throughout the video while I was testing out the blushes. This is what it looks like. It's such a pretty color. I really like this color. It has a slight terracotta to it that I, it's like a pink terracotta. I really, really like that. And then the gloss, it matches the shimmer of this eye. I really enjoy this gloss. Let's see, I might wanna put this on top. Do I wanna put, I, I kinda do, <laughs> I kinda do. Oh, yep. And then the two bombs. I love her bombs. This is the one Divine Rose 2. That is what it looks like. And the other one is Flesh 7. This one is much deeper. I could have worn this on top of this lipstick to give it a little bit more shine instead of the gloss if I wanted to. Overall, I am really happy with this collection. I love the blushes. I didn't think that all of them were actually going to work on me. I just wanted to get them all so you guys could see, but they actually do work because they blend out so nicely. You just got to go in light handed and then buff them out, or you could go in with a softer brush, but I really like that Wayne Goss brush, this new one, the brush number two. It's funny because I was using one <laughs> <laughs> this is the number two. I was using this one for the Fenty foundation or the skin tint to put it on over and over and over and over again as I was taking off my makeup and putting it back on. So this one I was using for foundation and then this one I was using for blush and I was just wiping them on my Sonia G towel. It was a match made in heaven. When it comes to the shades of the blushes, which ones are my favorites? The very last two that I put on, I really like those, the lighter ones and then this one, and I love the texture. Even the Demi Matte, they have like this skin-like texture that just looks so beautiful. It doesn't make your skin look dry or anything. I just, I really, really enjoy them. I do have to say though, that I'm not as, I'm not a huge fan of the component. I wish it was just a magnet because I had trouble with several of them trying to get it open. There's a little button right here and like I'm literally trying to get this open. There, this is the highlighter. <laughs> so the highlight has that as well as the blushes. And so it clicks shut and then some of them are a little harder to get open. 
So I wish it was just magnetized instead of that click closure. I wish they were like the palette where you can just open it with the magnetic closure. I just think that's a lot nicer. And considering that Pat McGrath is a high-end brand, I just think that this is much more sophisticated. But when we talk about this quad, I love this. This kind of reminds me of, this is the equivalent to Fire Rose from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Fire Rose of Pat McGrath. In my personal opinion, this right here, I live for this. This is so beautiful. Then you have a nice soft one to do a little bit of a highlight with, and then this color is gorgeous. And the pigmentation on here is absolutely just, I didn't expect anything less, but this quad is definitely on the higher ups of my favorites that she has done. I think it's so, so, so beautiful. I would wear <laughs> the shade all by itself, just all over, blown out. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's so, 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 so gorgeous. I'm really happy with this. The highlight is really beautiful. I love the color. I wish it was just a tiny bit creamier to where I could really melt it into my skin. Like I love the gelée version that she had, the very last one that she put out. Oh, it's so good. I love just like melting that into my skin. If this color was in that formula, I would use it more. I still think that this is really pretty. It's just that it's going to add a little bit more texture. And if you're dry up here, this is definitely, definitely, definitely going to show that. So one downside about this, I like it. I'm not gonna get a whole lot of use out of it, but I do think it's pretty. And I think on the right person, if you are really loving an intense highlight and you're not worried about texture or anything like that, it's beautiful, but for me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go all ham with this. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.